Mandy Penny can't make it far from her apartment in downtown St. John's. There's snow down there, which I won't be able to get over. And there's snow up there that I won't be able to get over. I can't even get over the sidewalk to go into the road. Penny has a busy job at the university and an active social life, but she uses a wheelchair. And during the winter, she says a lack of city snow clearing is forcing her to stay home more than she'd like. On top of that, Penny also relies more on the GoBus paratransit system during the winter. It's very difficult. Like, I even tell people I'm not my best self in the winter because I'm frustrated with how isolated I am and stuck in my house. Like, everything takes forethought. In the summer, I could wheel to the Avalon Mall if I wanted, like a wheel to my workplace, whereas now I have to book go bus days in advance, wait hours for it to show up, and then wait hours for it to bring me home. With more people like Penny relying on it, the go bus service is especially busy in the winter, and that means people need to book rides in advance. It is frustrating because you always have to be thinking 10 steps ahead. How much milk do I have left? When do, should I go to the grocery store? Are my friends going to ask to hang out in a few days? Should I reach out to get that planned in advance? What's it like for you? Penny isn't the only St. John's resident stuck inside. Oh, it becomes much more difficult. Um... Philip Strong is blind, which means venturing out onto snow-covered sidewalks is out of the question. The city has recently expanded its sidewalk snow clearing program from 161 kilometers of sidewalk to 175 kilometers of sidewalk. But for Strong, the issues go beyond winter. He wants more intersections with audible crosswalk signals and more bumpy strips at the ends of sidewalks. And some of them, if they're done smoothly enough, I don't even know I'm coming off of the curb into the road because it's just a slight decline. So what the detectable warning will do is it allows me to, it tells me that I shouldn't go any further. One of the people involved in designing the city's crosswalks and sidewalks says there's a lot to consider in that design, everything from right of way to how busy they are. As uh, we know that, we have quite a few steep grades within the city, and in order to make it accessible, there are certain stand standards that needs to be followed. And it's not always possible because we don't, we have limited right of way where we need to accommodate that. So uh, that's one of the challenges. The other one is uh, certainly it does cost money. Afridi says going forward, all new signalized intersections will have audible crosswalk signals, and the city will be adding in new bumpy strips based on demand. And that's in addition to other accessibility projects, like 15 kilometers of shared use paths. Daryl Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.